Well, hi, everyone. Welcome uh, to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is trade deadline day. Joe and How I... How can you tell? <laughs> doing the best <laughs> to handle, <laughs> handle the price. It is bright out here. It is, except for the two people who are talking into the camera. But anyway, all right. Hey, you know what? Not much going on, and, and it's comical. We've got a whole table of us in the lobby of the hotel, and every now and then, Dion will come by, Trevor Smith, Rick St. Croix, and uh, they're chuckling right now. Everybody seems to be handling it, but still, time will tell. It is, and you know, when you talk to them uh, about uh, uh, what this day is like and, and they all handle it rather professionally this is part of the job this is all of this but you know what for some I mean it is a very tough situation especially if you have a family and kids who are in school or anything of that nature uh, it, it becomes a, a strain not only on the player but on the family and uh, the rumors are circulating and I mean it almost gets to the point where if they haven't made me a rumor I'm really embarrassed by all of this what's wrong with me how come I'm not rumored going somewhere so it is a, it's a tough situation for them, and yet, uh, fortunately, it'll all be over by 3 o'clock. And you look back, 2008, this exact hotel, the last time we were down here for a trade deadline day, Matt Sundin was the guy rumored to be going. He didn't go that day. Chad Kilger, Wade Belak, and uh, Hal Gill did go late in the day. Um, but again, if, if ever there was a time for a captain to be traded, it was back then, and sometimes it's just status quo. And you know, it's years and years and years ago where a trade deadline day move really was the catalyst and the spark that sent a team to the Stanley Cup. And I think it's Butch Goring. And everybody since then, managers anyway, have always felt, here's the last piece. Here's the piece. I mean, Raymond Bork was traded. Didn't happen until next year, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of situations, and, and, and most general managers will say that the worst mistakes that they make are on this day because right. they overpay uh, for something that doesn't end up getting them to the ultimate prize. And unfortunately for a lot of them, there's only one team that makes it and the rest of them are sitting there going, maybe we shouldn't have traded that first round draft pick for so and so and so and so. Butch Goring for Dave Lewis and Billy Harris. That was a good trade. Others, not so good. Joe's here. I am here. Log on to MapleLeafs.com, of course, the entire day for the comings and goings of the Toronto Maple Leafs and Leafs TV later today. And we'll have our trade deadline show at 7 o'clock. We will see you then.